What is up guys, Cosmic Contender here, here for another video on the RTS tutorial. Last time we finished this wizard building and it would build units for us. Uh, currently we want to be able to add uh, these buildings uh, by building ourselves. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to start off with our wizard building. Now one thing we're going to do is add this building manager, the building mode, to our wizard building script. Okay. And we're going to edit the code to the building mode. Okay. Uh, so, yes, we do have this exported. We want to add a couple more variables. So, up next to our other export variable, we're going to have another one. And this one is going to be called parent building it's equal to uh, actually not equal to we want to just set it with so colon node 2d all right and we want to also add uh, a has built equal false by default all right and then one thing we're also going to do in this tuto this tutorial is create our own custom signal called building build building sorry and so what we're doing here is we want to signal to the our parent component so we have building mode uh to our parent component that we have built it on the screen okay so we want to edit our input. Uh, so we want an input event and we want to check this event. So event dot is action underscore pressed. And we don't have it currently set. So we're going to call uh, a custom function called build. And we also want to check if uh we can build so the way we've been checking is if the size is equal to zero then we can build and we're going to just type in pass for now we need to go to our project settings hit project input mode so we have the set target right but we also want to add build so add build it's going to do the exact same thing as what our left mouse button is what we're going to detect for and uh, close save all right so we want to emit the signal build building dot emit we need to invoke that or, not, or call it and then we want to set built equal true and we want to queue redraw cool so <clears throat> Right now, uh, we have the building area moving based on, oh, I, sorry, it's not built, it has built. We're saying that to true. And right now we have this building area moving around on our mouse. Uh, so it, if you were to run our, what, I assume we have two of these, okay? So we want to go to our world scene and you want to delete the building mode and we can also delete the wizard building but for now we're, we're going to keep it okay so go back to our building mode script so instead of ha of moving our um the building area the building area is now a child of the building the wizard building and we want that to follow our um cursor instead so we're going to change this building area to uh, our parent building so building area but uh, parent building instead of position we want global position all right and we don't need this anymore because since this sprite is centered it will be at the center of our cursor. Let me verify. Yep, that is correct. 
Oh, and we want to set the building, so what we just had, area dot position is equal to building area dot size divided by two. And we want to wrap this into parentheses and we'll do minus negative one. So what this is doing is so the building area renders a zero zero currently and we want to set it so it'll render uh, not zero zero and it'll take the center of whatever the building area so currently 16 by 16 and move it on our cursor so we can actually run this uh, we have a oh we need to set the um so click on our building mode so we need to assign our wizard building that's why we exported our variable. And since the wizard building is bigger than 16 by 16, uh, we want to also change that to 32 by 32. So now we can no longer see our wizard building. And also we're actually building the wizards as we're moving around. This isn't what we want, obviously not intended what we want. So we're gonna fix some of that. So let's go back to our building mode. So we saw that it was a green color, right? Uh, and we don't want the green or it was red if we were over people. So we want to change that. So we are going to be doing this bottom one right here. So we need red, green, blue, and alpha. So they're just floats from zero to one. So we just need zero red. We want one green, zero blue, and we'll set the alpha to 0.5. Okay. And we'll do that same exact thing to our red, but instead of it being or setting our green to one, we want to set our red to one and our green to zero. All right, so let's play. Oh, it's because we're loading. Okay, uh, let's load the. All right, there we go. So now we got the building moving with our characters, correct? But now we're still building units as it's moving around. We don't want that, obviously. So we're going to fix a couple things. So we are wanting to emit this building, correct? So we need to go to our wizard building script now. And let me verify my wizard building script on my um, sample project. All right, so we need to add a couple variables. So we want to add. Uh, you could call it is building mode or is building you could call it and we'll set it to true by default because when we're going to add this it will be by default in the building mode because we're not going to be able to be building it until so we have our building mode go back to our wizard building script i apologize i keep flipping around we want an on ready variable and we want to call it building underscore mode and you want to do colon equals dollar sign building mode All right you could also have uh so deselect and then control select and drag it over like that exact same thing okay all right so we want on our on ready function to take our building mode dot and we have a we have building we emitted that function build building, right? And we want to connect it. But we don't have a function to connect it to. So uh, we're going to create one called set building. I do underscores for anything that's a, a signal. So we're going to connect to that. But we don't, so it's going to yell at us that we don't have that function. So underscore set building mode. Okay. And then function colon, and we want to go building mode is equal to false. All right, there's a couple other things we want to do that are not intended currently. So these two sh collision shapes, we want to drag them in here. And so you can you can shift click them, or you can drag them indiv individually. But right now we're gonna say disabled is equal to false okay so right now they are 
they are not disabled, so it is false. So we need to go into here and check these boxes over here in the inspector. Disabled. Save. All right, building mode. Oh, it's not building mode. It is is building. Okay. So we set those on that emit. And so when I'm going to show you when we hit build, we will emit this to our parent that we connected to, which is our wizard building. Go here to our wizard building. It will then call this function. Okay, and we'll set the building, is building to false. Okay, so now let's utilize some of that. So we don't want to spawn, so we'll just have the time just keep going, but we want to set the building or is if it is so if is building is not true then we want to spawn units okay let's see if i'm missing anything else on this uh nope we are not so we can test this out a little bit if we hit play so we're not and we're no longer able to run into it if we click we're not able to spawn it yet. So let's do that last part. I have to go back to our building mode. And let's see where I am missing our last couple bits of our building. Okay, so if we have hasn't built on well, we want to take all of this, move it over. And let's see, we also want to change this to an if else. And on the additional, we want to check the as built. And then we will set an else of, and we'll take this draw rec. And instead, we want color dot transparent. Okay. So, oh, if else, so we'll just do um, as not built. Okay. We could have done uh, has built and then done this else if, and then this could have been the else. But it just depends on how you thought of it. So there we go. All right, we drop it, and now they start spawning units. All right, let's see. I just want to verify it uh, to go over some things to make sure you guys understood what's going on here because we just introduced signals. We have been using built in signals, such as um, the spawner on the wizard building, which we last time to connect it was on the built in. So we would go here and hit spawn timer, hit node, and we click there and we connect it, right? We can also see do the same exact thing, and you could have connected it this way. But we connected it in code so we can understand for the future if we do have functions that we want to connect to other um, other nodes, this is one way of doing it. Lastly, since we don't really want the wizard building to be in the code by default, we're going to delete it. And we're going to go, and so we have this build. And I'm just going to just add another one. This is just going to be temporary code. We're going to have add building. We're going to add it. We're going to hit B. Oh, not enter. Sorry. Hit B. OK. Close. Save the world scene. And let me verify my code. All right, so we want to, in our world, we want to, so we have unhandled input, and we'll just go over here to funk underscore input. Oh, excuse me, input. And then, oh, I have my insert on, apologize, event. And then we want to do if event dot is action pressed and add building and 
as building, which we don't currently have as a variable. We want a var is equal to building, and we don't have it currently. So let's add these variables so that's twice based on these. Okay. <clears throat> so a couple of things we want. We want to add the as building is equal to false by default, right? And we want an on ready var on ready var building scene is equal to preload and we'll add the uh, wizard building where are you wizard building dot tascn okay so then we want to take this var and equal it to uh, building scene dot instantiate and we want to set as building equal to true and then add child building so this is kind of temporary code but if we had an interface we could do it this way too like a like a user interface uh we could be able to click it and then uh, it would give us the option to build it somewhere. But if we hit B, we're able to get our building and we're able to go over where units aren't supposed to be able to be built. We click and we're, they're able to spawn it. Well, if we hit B again, it's not going to do it because we're not resetting this um, has building. And what we could do is have a function uh, when uh, has built it's set to true or um, yeah when husband has been set to true we can let our world scene know that there is no longer a building anymore so that's just some ways that we can do it just like we connected that signal from the building mode to our wizard building we can also connect another signal uh, on our wizard building saying that it's been built to our world so just some ways that you can understand how these signals work. All right. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate everyone's comments. Please, if you did enjoy the video, leave a comment. If you have questions, I will respond. I will do my best to help you through uh, these tutorials. And if you do enjoy more of these videos, I'm going to be putting out more tutorials. So please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.